The Tennessee Titans just wrapped up another day of preparation here at St. Thomas Sports Park. They're getting ready to take on the Houston Texans. I'm Amy Wells, joined by Mike Keith. Mike, we started off the day today with some big news for Ryan Suckup. The AFC Special Teams Player of the Month, after going 10 of 11 on field goals, making all eight of his extra points. And on kickoffs, 13 of 18 have gone for touchbacks. He's been very, very good for the Titans and has certainly turned into Mr. Reliable. Congratulations to Ryan Sucka. One of the areas of emphasis that the Titans are really focusing on this week is in the red zone. What can this team do offensively to improve in that area? They want to see less of Ryan Suckup, actually less field goals for this ball club. 40% touchdowns on red zone trips. And so against these good defenses, they've got to execute better. And one thing they've been talking about this week is winning one-on-one -on -one battles. When you get a chance to go up and make a catch over someone, when you get a chance to beat a tackler, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. It's also important for the Titans' defense in terms of red zone efficiency. They've given up a touchdown to the opposition on 77.8% of the times that the other team has been inside their 20. So not just the offense wanting to be more efficient in the red zone, the defense wants to be more stingy that way too. Speaking of defense, on the Texans' defense, J.J. Watt is going to be playing in this contest on Sunday. How important is it for this Titans offense to know where he is at all times? It's job one. It's the first thing that you have to do, especially because he's played so great against the Titans throughout his career. The issue with J.J. Watt right now is he's playing excellent football, but the Texans have a bunch of guys doing the same thing. Whitney Merciless is fantastic. Jadevian Clowney has been out of this world. A guy like DJ Reader that most people don't really know yet has been playing really well in the defensive line. A Benardrick McKinney at linebacker. I mean, they've just got players. And so if you focus on just J.J. Watt, one of those other guys can beat you. Still, you got to know where 99 is on every play. All right, well, the Titans have another day of preparation right here at St. Thomas Sports Park, and then they go on the road to take on the Houston Texans at NRG Stadium. Kickoff for that game is at noon. For TitansOnline.com, he's Mike Keith. I'm Amy Wells, and this is Titans in Two.